was just talking with the Lord last night. Just been going through such a hard time and I don't share this for sympathy or anything. Um, I just share it because I'm kind of vlogging about my walk with the Lord and realistically through good times, bad times. And it's just a record for me. It's kind of like a journal sharing how he is faithfully devoted to me, though I don't deserve that. And so I was just talking with him last night, and I wrote down a few scriptures here that have to do with what he had said to me. And I was just... You know, being honest, just talking things out with them. Um, sometimes I'm, I rail against them, as sometimes I do, and I'm not proud of it. And always, afterward, I say, "Lord, I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I feel like I'm blaming you and just railing against you." But I've learned that that doesn't move. He accepts me in all ways just the way I am as I'm walking with him through this process of being transformed, being renewed in the way that I think, and he can handle me even when I feel like I can't handle myself or anything going on around me. The Lord can. He's so great in understanding and so I was just, you know, I'll just share a couple things I was honestly saying with them. And I was just saying, Lord, you know, I, I just don't understand why I even have to exist because your will will be done whether I'm here on this earth or not. And I just don't like the way I am right now, Lord. I, I don't want to harm anybody. It's my greatest desire anymore. Knowing Him, learning how to love others, and sometimes I find myself opposite of that by my words or my deeds or my thoughts, you know, not finding myself loving at times. And I know you have to be patient with yourself and all this kind of stuff, and that's true. I'm just kind of sharing where I was in the moment. And I was just saying, Lord, if I were the worst person on the whole earth. Most disgusting, repulsive, loathsome, terrible person. What would that do to you? That takes away nothing from who you are. And if I were a saint, the best person, doing everything right, thinking everything right, perfect in all my ways, what would that add? to you it wouldn't he is who he is and finding him out is such a amazing hard crushing beautiful I don't have the words to describe who he is and how it is to find him out through this walk you know through this life anyway that's um just some things I was talking to him about. So I said, why, Lord? Why must I, you know, exist when I feel like I just mess up all the time and fail all the time and go through from one hard time to the next? And I was just kind of in a desperate kind of feeling moment, and I just said, why everything? You know, I'm so sad so much of the time seeing everything and seeing how burdened and weighed down other people are and what they have to walk through, the things they're afflicted with. And I, my heart is just so sad so much of the time. And I just said, why, Lord? Why must I endure these things? And just so gently, he reminded me, he said, because if you didn't share in my sufferings, you couldn't share in my glory. 
That's what he said. And I just wanted to share a couple of scriptures about that, what he had said. Any time that I believe he's spoken something to me, especially back when I wasn't so familiar with his voice, and I didn't know if it was my thoughts or I just didn't know the enemy, what it was, and I was afraid to believe what I'd heard, I'd just go and look up some scriptures to see if there was anything more that I could find out about what he had said to me. So that's what I did. And here in First Peter chapter 4, verses 12 and 13 says, Beloved, don't be surprised at the fiery trials that come upon you as though something strange was happening to you. Verse 13, it says, Rejoice as you share in the sufferings of Christ, so that you may also share in his glory. And who can even begin to understand what that will be? His glory. Having an inheritance. We're going to inherit amazing, wonderful things. Heavenly, eternal things. You know? And Romans eight seventeen, If we are his children, then we are his heirs. Heirs with God. Co-heirs with Christ. If indeed we suffer with him, so that we may also be glorified with him. Romans 8.18 8, I consider that our present sufferings are not comparable to the glory that will be revealed in us. 2 Corinthians 1.5 Just as the sufferings of Christ overflow to us, so also through Christ our comfort overflows. And I was talking with a friend briefly about this other day. It even goes on to say that we are comforted. Paul was talking. He said, we're comforted so that we might go and comfort you. We comfort others with the comfort we have received from Christ. How he has helped us to endure and persevere and bear up under these burdens and sufferings we must go. So that we might go and help others that are going through their hard times. And we help each other in this way. I think that's beautiful. Philippians 3.10 was that Paul said, I want to know Christ and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being conformed to him in his death. So those were just some scriptures that went along with what the Lord had said to me. I thought I'd share that with y'all. And, and just, you know, I'll just remind anybody this and turn it off. In case you don't know, in case you do not do this, you can go to the Lord exactly how you are. You don't have to put on some holy, beautiful words. You can come to them down and out. You can come to them struggling in things that might be wrong when you've messed up, uh, when you don't understand. In all ways, in all things, we may approach Him confidently and boldly to find mercy and grace, help in our time of need, the peace that only Christ can bring. All of these things are freely given unto us. And he is able, he's strong enough, he's wise enough, enough, and the depth of his understanding, he can take it. You know, when you just sometimes wish another human being, you could just tell them everything that's going on, but maybe you just can't or you're afraid to. But you can with the Lord. You can tell him everything. He already knows everything. You know? And we get to know him more in this way through these times. See that he is not quick to be offended with us. Quick to anger. That he's so understanding with what we're going through. That he cares about all the little details. And he will come and meet us in those places. Let us be aware of his presence, which is one of the most wonderful gifts.
doing that for me lately, even here in this hard place. And I'm just so thankful. So that's just a little bit I wanted to share about sharing the sufferings of Christ that we might also share in his glory. He reminded me of that last night. So I love y'all. I hope you each and every one are doing good and continue and just search for the Lord with all your heart in all ways, acknowledging him in all of our ways throughout of our life to find him, get to know him more. He's so amazing. So I love y'all. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.